Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Samurai Warriors Spirit of the Sonata, or Spirit of Sonata on the series JG. This is um, my first time returning to the game. I played the I played a bunch of this and recorded a bunch of this like the first weekend after Christmas and got away from it for a long time because I had just recorded so much. Um, so I'm looking forward to uh, diving back into this game. Um, the thing about this game is we've got this very low... Uh, not a whole lot of work got done on this intro screen, obviously. It's just a still with some kind of sad-ish music playing under it. I, I don't know that much in detail about the story of Matsuyuki Sanada's career because what I know about the Sengoku Jedi comes from a little bit of watching videos on YouTube and and a little bit of reading articles about people who were of interest to me in the Samurai Warriors games and Nobunaga's Ambition games and those games themselves. It's not like I'm a serious scholar of the period. But the overarching tale of the Sanada, I guess I shouldn't spoil it in case you have no idea, but I can't imagine many people are watching this who haven't watched all the other Samurai Warriors series. I mean, it's all building up to Yukimura, who is kind of like... He's... You know, uh, Davy Crockett and um, I guess it was a Sam Houston or Sam Houston, just a pro wrestler, or not actually a historical figure. But he's like all the guys who died at the Alamo rolled into one for Japan. Like the guy who stood there and staring down an army of like a billion guys and was like, fuck you. Uh, you're going to have to kill me. But I mean, that's a bit it's a bit silly. I mean, there was an entire army that was fighting, uh, in the keep that he was defending, but he's like the famous warrior, um, who in the final battle of the Goku Jedi was like the last guy who was like, okay, I guess they are, I guess the era is over. I guess it's time for everyone to be united under this warlord. I hate, but I'm, I'm going out, you know, as a warrior Blah, blah, blah. The story of how we get there is pretty interesting, and I don't know a whole lot of the details about the early parts of it, so that's one of the reasons I'm excited to play this game. And I think the Sonata are a good choice for a clan to follow through. If you're going to do a game that follows the story of one clan, they're a good choice. Um, what I don't particularly... Because uh, it's, it's kind of an exciting idea to me. It's like, oh man, I'd love that there to be other games like this, like... Samurai Warriors, Spirit of Oda, like, you know, Samurai Warriors, um, Ambition of Oda, Samurai Warriors, Destiny of Tokugawa, like, something that focuses entirely on one clan and a small group of characters and really gets more into storytelling of individual people. Like, I could see that being a lot of fun for other groups. Sanada seems like a good choice for the first one. The issue is, I don't know how well this game did in Japan. In America, it was pathetic, the sales for this game. Now, I mean, some of this is on Kowai. I only, I'm a fan of Kowai stuff, and I only heard about this game because somebody with a Pikachu avatar kept popping up in my comment section telling me to play it. Um, there's certainly nothing along, the, like, no kind of ad campaign for this, you know. And, um... Even whatever minimal thing you do to get mentioned on, like, websites and shit, they didn't do. They didn't, they didn't pay anything to market this game. And other than translating the menus into ja into English, like, obviously, they've, they've made a choice a while ago, which I'm not crazy about, for the Samurai Warriors games, where they're just using Japanese audio. And I know there's, there's people who can't stand the English audio, and they have to play Japanese audio, and... I guess it makes more sense in this than it would in Dynasty Warriors, where, like, you've got to hear the original Japanese audio to really capture what it's like to be in ancient China. Oh, wait. But, but like, they've done so little to make this game, like, to try to make this game popular in the West, and, I don't know, maybe that's part of the charm, except that they're not really doing the same thing with Dynasty Warriors. So I'm off on this long tangent about how I'm enjoying the game, but boy it seems like uh it seems like a failed experiment like they're not going to try this again and if they do uh it'll be exactly it'll be like entirely for the japanese market with some vague like yeah well you know what the hell if you feel like in america you can we'll spend a few bucks translating the menus into english and maybe we'll make it downloadable only and not even like not even print c uh not even print discs and put them in packages and sell them in stores this time because it really didn't do well um but it seems like just a little bit would, would have helped with getting this to be more popular. Because I honestly think the Samurai Warriors games have 
Um, I mean, I think Samurai Warriors 2... Is, D Dynasty Warriors 5 is my sentimental favorite Dynasty Warriors game. But Samurai Warriors 2 was sort of the Samurai Warriors game that was out around the same time. It's it's a better game than Dynasty Warriors 5 is. And uh, it's a shame to see them do such a poor job of trying to market this thing. But, you know, whatever. It is what it is. What else was I getting at? I, 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 guess, I, I guess I better just go. So, um... But some of the RPG mechanics, like, as as I spend more time, like, oh, I'm going to play off-screen in the Santa Ana homeland and listen to riff tracks and blah, 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 I'm, I'm starting to become realized, uh, beautiful girl, Lord Customers, okay. Into a fiendish trap. I'm starting to, to realize more and more that that's not really a, a good use of time. Other than, other than maintaining enough Santa coins, the six ghost coins or whatever they are, in order to show off all of the... Uh, storyline just to be able to show off for LP purposes each strategy because some of them you don't really need to do um, anything else I'm doing as far as grinding like Mazuyuki's not really in any any great danger here I was disappointed to find out that these medicines are single use items which basically means I won't be using them I've got the uh, eagle eye which what the hell does that even mean Occasionally obtain more materials. I don't even know if materials drop when you're doing the um, and fortune, fame, and fortune, fame, and fortune. Fortunate occurrences will increase. I don't know why they need to make these names so freaking confusing. But I could say we could go with Alacrity and um, for an actual battle, which we're coming up on here. Alacrity and offense, because... We're going for battle, not for Santa to Heartland nonsense. Oh, Mazuyuki. So I believe uh, we've already talked to everybody, and it's time to actually do a battle for reals. And the last thing that was going on in the story was that um, the Takada are getting um, getting a little froggy, and they decided that they wanted to take out... Um, they've With the collapse of... Um, oh, God, what's his name? Um, the goofy leader of the Imagawa, who in the Samurai Warriors games, at least, is always portrayed as this painted-faced dandy who's crazy about Kamari. And who wouldn't be crazy about Kamari? Kamari's the best character in FFX, baby! Anyway, no, but um, he's defeated, and his son is not as good a leader as he is, which seems crazy. Um, so the Takada decide to basically turn on their old allies and gobble up their territory... Um, so they invade Suruga. This is uh, this represents a betrayal of the uh, tripartite alliance between the Takada, the Hojo, and the Imagawa, which means they're now at odds with the Hojo. So they decide to go out and attack the Hojo too, but then they decide, really, they're hoping to lure the Hojo out into the open field to fight, and the Hojo aren't dumb enough to do that because Odawara Castle is impregnable and unconquerable except that historically it's conquered by Hideyoshi and and then my uh, other LP I recently conquered it as the Date but but it's not just you don't just go knocking on the door of Imagawa Castle and expect to um, take over so um, they end up in a tactical retreat still trying to maybe draw out their enemies for a field battle but that's this it's uh, Tsukui Reconnaissance faced with the Hojo army holed up in their castle Shingen decides to withdraw. Mazuyuki and Katsuyori are tasked with scouting Tsukui. And uh, this is my first time doing this one, so it's entirely possible I won't do everything right on the first time. But let's give it a shot. And we've got Mazuyuki with his normal attack oriented self. Rage level 3. Leveled up to 23. I would imagine he's stronger than he needs to be at this point in the game to be successful, but I don't know that for sure. So 
So we can assault the enemy, search troops in, in some compound, or rather use ninjas to attack. We can assault them in the forest, use ninjas to attack. And new, we can use missing information to halt their search. So I haven't played in a while, but I have to try to remember. I want to defeat at least 500 enemy soldiers. That should happen. Claim victory without being discovered even once by the search troops. Don't know about that. Claim victory by the hour of the monkey. Oh. This this feels like one I might be coming back and redoing off screen. Uh, once I've got the lay of the land, because you got to do things super fast and, and not make any goofs as far as getting detected. Equipment-wise... Oh, I guess we don't get to play as Katsuyori. He's in the battle, but we don't switch back and forth between him. And actually, if we're going to be doing... Um If we're going to be, uh, I might want to just do speed on foot and speed on a horse if, uh, it's a big time limit kind of deal. So 500 and don't get detected. So that's actually, that might be fairly simple. I just got to kill lots of generics. I don't have any of the specific things I got to do. One thing I'm, uh, worried about is that I've forgotten what button you press to actually activate those, uh, tactics. So I So I do want to check that out real quick. Press square to check stratagems. Executing stratagems. I don't know what's L3. Okay. All right. So it's just it's just us, and we are okay. This feels like it's a sand at a homeland type of thing where we're just scouting around. We got to get to the main compound without getting detected. All right. Maybe this will be easier than I think. After all, it's a scouting mission. We're not supposed to be. Having lots of troops of our own here. No time to waste. Kind of pointed me this way. Search troop. Search troops. During battles featuring enemy search troops, being spotted by the search troops will result in losing the battle. Proceed with extreme caution. The location of the search troops indicated on the mini map by an eye icon. When they approach, a question mark will be displayed above their head, and when they get closer still, will change to exclamation point. And then they will say, and then they will get on their ra uh, radio and be like, Encounter the enemy requesting backup. You're about to be spotted. Once you see a. Okay, so they give you a chance to escape. Oh, never mind. So they're going. Defeat him within the time allotted before being noticed by search troops. Okay. Let's drag us from the rear if we're not careful. That's where the best surprises always sneak up from.
敵に蹴取られずに済んだかうまくいったオッケー騒がしい何事だオッケー、そう、なおで、あがた。あらた、あがた、そう、あがた。ちょっと待って、あがた。あがた。あがた。あがた。あがた。あがた。あがた。あがた。あがた。あがた。あがた。あがた。あがた。あがた。あがた。あがた。The southern garrison north gate is open. The search troops are heading towards the mountain path. Okay, so now I'm supposed to come up behind them and do something. I don't know how the hell I kill 500 people on this map at this rate. Defeat the guard captain in order to make your way through the caves. Oh, I'm supposed to somehow get past these. I'm supposed to get past the. I thought I could go on, skip around the outside. Okay, well, fine, game. I thought I could, like, skirt around the edge while he was still in question mark mode because you told me to go defeat those guys over there. Whatever. Okay, so this is going to be a battle whose whole deal is do things in an exact order. Got it. It's like one of those,、uh, like you playing、uh, World of Warcraft, or World of Warcraft, Warcraft 3, and I, I was like the missions where you get to have your own town and build up,、um, build up an army and fight the enemy, but every so often you just have a level where you start with a certain number of forces. And you have to proceed through the map, and you have to do things in the right order, or you'll get overwhelmed. And this is going to be one of those. I also am starting to think I need to not worry about getting kills until we get to the main compound, where it looks like there's lots of little red guys. Okay. So this is a very specific type of mission. And the eight minute thing might be like easier than I thought because it doesn't seem like you have a lot of control about how fast anything goes. So, the, taking out the search troop before they can return to base doesn't help because I suppose they've got it arranged so that if somebody doesn't report to their post, that automatically raises alarm bells. I feel like we should be able to do this within a minute since he's already defeated. We can't afford to have these guys doing whatever it is we think is going to happen here. Luckily for us, this gate was closed to prevent us from accidentally going here because, you know, heaven forbid we. Heaven forbid we have any kind of open ability to patrol around without the mission doing it. Tell us exactly where to go. Oh, good thing they said that out loud so we could hear it. How do I do a. I'm going to do an in battle save here if I can.
there a way to do that? Thought there was. Oh well, can't seem to figure that out. So I have to defeat the guard captains. Pain in the ass with all those flag troops. Okay, so one set of search troops is withdrawn completely. So I guess I just misunderstood how this was going to work. I just needed to not get caught by them in a few specific circumstances where it was possible. Which means going through and doing this once will probably unlock some cool shit for future battles. And then doing it in eight minutes will probably involve just coming back and doing this battle again without um, without actually uh, doing that particular side quest. So I might not finish this in eight minutes on the first try because it looks like there is some stuff you should probably do once that you don't got to do every time. Since apparently these search troops are just like, eh, we don't feel like it anymore. I wonder if this is part of our great lord's design. What the hell are you guys talking about? To be forced to retreat having discovered nothing and to come under attack as well. This is a disgrace. Now they're back. What the hell? I really wish there was something where I, um, I know it exists. I'm like, where the hell do I go to save the player info log? Parting present. Defeat the enemy troops of the compound. Oh, here we go. Interim save. It's, it should be that freaking hard, JG. All right. So we'll do an interim save here. Just um, in case I screw something up. Because it feels like we're on... Ah, there we go. Those are stratagems. We have a little fun with the guards. Let's go. Search troops are withdrawing due to misinformation.
Okay, so the mountain path is what they want now. That's kind of what I guessed. First the mountain path and advance towards the main compound. So here's where we make sure we get our 500 kills. He's already gone. Well, that's convenient for the narrative. Oh, and there's Katari. We know he'd be showing up. Time for discipline. What the hell does that mean? We'll have ninjas attack. That way, they'll have no way that they believe there's anything going on. Why would they believe that we're moving through the area of ninjas suddenly? Sorry, but that's the wrong answer. Ninjas. Ninjas is always the right answer. Okay, uh... Time for some discipline. Search troops have appeared. I think it was over here somewhere. Search troops have appeared. Sorry, but that's the wrong answer. I have ninjas there. Get them. The search troops have been assassinated. Oh, nice. Cool. I, I figured we were just taking them out. I didn't know we were assassinating them. That's pretty sweet. Alright, sir. Using up all the coins, but, um. At least I got to showcase all of it. Search troops have been assassinated. So this is just making my life easier. These guys are annoying. I want to get up here and defeat the flag bearers before I keep fighting any more of these guys. if I understand it right, now we've got all the strategies have been used. I gotta defeat 500 soldiers and not waste any more time, I guess. And the uh, 8 minutes thing might already be lost because of other missions I did on the side, but otherwise I can just kill as many guys as possible here. Let's play Spirit of Sonata. <laughs> so basically, I gotta defeat Kataru, but I gotta go 500 guys first. Did I get credit for my feet? Hasn't clicked over yet to be on the safe side. I wanna give it a second. What is this, some kind of monster? No, this is Fuma of the Hojo. Did I get credit for my feet yet? Oh, no, they don't... Oh, never mind, they don't check off when you accomplish them. I just need to hurry up and win. Okay. Well, if I did that in eight minutes, we got everything we needed in one go. Otherwise, I'll have to re redo it off screen. It's a little faster. Physical achievements are not worth boasting about, particularly when they're beating up a clown. I'm thinking I didn't do it in eight minutes, but maybe I did. Come on, eight minutes. Doesn't look like I did it in eight minutes. You must never take a risk like that again. 
Katsuyori, you have to live forever and be the ultimate ruler of Japan, right? Yeah, no, that's true, Katsuyori. If the situation had been reversed, he probably wouldn't have hesitated, but... Um, he's a retainer. You're supposed to be the lord. Well, the, the son of the lord. Jesus Jr. <laughs> so, we did not get the full, um... Everything. Oh, 26 seconds. I still got an S rank. So this means I'll have to do it off screen once in under 8 minutes to get that last feed in case it unlocks anything. It'd be nice if we got up to 5 uh, coins for this. And we got... One of those might be better than the other one was. No. Alright, this video is going to go just a little long because I want to get to the point where I can go redo that battle before I call it a video. And I'll just redo it real quick in 22 seconds faster so that we never have to return to it again. Mazuki, was it a mistake to attack the Hojo? The battle seemed entirely fruitless. Mazuki's like, no, I got to beat up a clown ninja. No, our great lord achieved what he set out to do. This is why he's swiftly withdrawn his troops. Yeah, whatever. This game is full of um, historical defeats being like parlayed into victories through weird turns of phrase by characters. What did my father set out to do? Yeah, well, he wanted us to beat up clown ninja. The Uesugi made no move whatsoever. It is enough to know that. Oh, really? So the point of the battle was to see if the Uesugi are going to attack you the minute you leave. Come to think of it, the Uesugi have ties with the Hojo. Well, didn't the Hojo... Didn't the Uesugi try to fight the Hojo? I mean... Yes, but the Uesugi have agreed to a peace treaty with us. Bound by honor, they could not intervene. Okay, so we're trying to peddle the narrative that Takara attacked the Hojo and didn't intend to win. He was just testing to see what side the Uesugi would come in on. Realizing they cannot rely on the Uesugi, the Hojo will be forced to try and repair relations with the Takara. This seems like a stretch. I see. But to truly see our advantage, it would be nice if we could display our strength one more time. Sounds like an excuse for a battle that doesn't make sense if we don't acknowledge that we were defeated. My lord, Ujiteru Hojo and his men are approaching. I don't think that's the daughter. I think that might be one of the sons. Looks like we lured out more than we expected. Well, he's like got that gangster look. My lord, there's no time for such a carefree attitude. We must flee at once. I thought he was the guy who wanted to fight, fight, fight. We must divide our forces into three. Divided into three? He actually wants to divide into two. What on earth are you talking about? I'm talking about a plan, you stupid dummy. A mobile unit must traverse the Shida Pass and strike the enemy from the rear, where the best surprises always sneak up. The surprise attack against a unit executing its own surprise attack. I like it. But we cannot spare many men. And I like Shingen. Of course not. A large mobile unit can be spotted by the enemy anyway. I will leave the unit and o take only the bare minimum. Basically, just me. Hmm. This is madness. We are about to be swallowed up by a massive enemy force. Any talks of splitting our forces into two? All we need to do is keep the enemy at bay until Mazuki's unit can strike from the rear. Young master? Father, I believe Mazuki's plan will work. I will keep our main camp safe until the plan can be carried out. You can trust me. I'm curing, like, entire, like, vinyl sightings uh, for a house on my shoulders. 
Lord Katsuyori. Oh my god. I can't believe the fuel's right now. Very well. We are in your hands, Mazayuki. My lord. Good luck, Mazayuki. I just put my reputation on the line, so don't fuck this up. Thanks, Lord Katsuyori, and you too. Aww. It's nice. Returning from Tsukui, Mazuki Sanada, and Katsuyori Takada were confronted with the sight of an unexpectedly large Hojo army force. I see why Uchiyasa Hojo is lauded as the line of Sugami. Oh, never mind. It's the actual dad. It's the actual main Hojo guy. He does not let his prey go. Although the threat posed by Tsukui Castle had been neutralized, the retreating Takada army was ill-equipped to fight against such numbers. I should lead an assault unit and strike the enemy from behind, as established in the last scene. While Mazuyuki's proposal met with opposition from the senior retainers, it was approved by Katsuyori. The assault unit led by Mazuyuki made it over Shida Pass and successfully positioned itself behind the enemy. We could use ninjas to assault the enemy as a result of feats. Well, it looks like I unlocked all the stratagems, so I don't really need to redo Tatui uh, Reconnaissance. But I'm going to redo Tatui Reconnaissance anyway, off-screen, just in case. So uh, when we come back next time, I will have beaten that mission in uh, under eight minutes. Um, since I was only a few, like, less than a minute off last time and did side stuff that isn't required. And um, that actually should give us uh, six full Sanada coins to play with as we do Battle of Mamase Pass. See you guys next time.